This is uh, Patrick McCarthy reporting with Tri-Cities Community Television. We're back in our mobile studios in Lee Square in the Michael Wright Art Gallery. And today we are happy to have a local artist among us for a quick uh, stop by, and Nikki Baines. Thank you very much for dropping by the studios. Thank you for having me. So tell us a bit about you as an artist and what makes you so uh, obsessed with this, this visual art that uh, kind of drives you every day. Well, I like I, I just like the outdoors. I enjoy it. And to be able to paint it on canvas is, is really neat. And to paint it well, where people actually enjoy your work, is even more exhilarating. Yeah, I mean, I sold one, and one lady was just so excited to have the piece. And went, it made me more excited that I was painting something that she enjoyed so much. It, it's just a lot of fun. And just listening to the outdoors, being out there and watching the wind move through the trees and then down to the grass. It's, it's really nice. Yeah, and it, it's kind of interesting though, when you, when you're, you do uh, a lot of the birds that you sort of draw or paint uh, and, and the flowers, but I, uh, someone told me once that sometimes you try to listen to the sound of the painting. Yes, I do. I like it. I want it to sort of speak to me so I know what to call it. And you don't always know. And, and that way it takes me a while before I actually pick what I'm going to paint and then I decide and, and then it takes me a while to actually get it on canvas the way I want it to go so that I can paint it later. And you use oils. Oils, they, why oils? Why would you go through that sort of... Uh... Well, we all start with crayons at one point in our life. I'm still there. <laughs> <laughs> and then we end up doing the medium that we so wish. I mean, all the other mediums are just as wonderful, but I enjoy oils. And, and oils for you, like what is that, uh, the textile, the texture of it or? Um, it's the texture, the idea that it, the colors will last longer. They're, I feel that they're a little bit brighter. Yes, it takes longer to dry, but you get more, I think you get more satisfaction from them, at least I do. And so you, you, you artist your whole life, but the last 10 years or so it has been really what we call full-time you know, yeah. dedication to the, to the art. How, how has that 10 years gone for you, besides quick? quick. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. You meet a lot of really neat people and that's the neat part about it is the people we meet. Other artists, other people who love, like your work. It's a lot of fun. And for you, you're, at the same time you're part of Art Focus, you're also part of the Port Moody Arts Association, but you're also one of those artists that has a, the opportunity to display their work through the Tri-Cities. So, so how can people see your art and, uh, d and where should they go to, to find it? Well, at the moment, I'm at the uh, Coquitlam Library, which is just across from the mall. And I was just in the uh, show at Port Moody. And that's it at the moment. If not, you can find me on the computer at NikkiBainWeebly.com. And also, too, you're at part of those groups that do a lot of community art. I mean, I know you worked on a large mural with a bunch of your uh, artist uh, friends or peers. And uh, it's now at the Di Tri-Cities Dialysis Center. That was, that was so much fun. I mean, we had about 35 people, and everyone got to have a voice in it. And I would try and get everybody's voice of what they wanted in it. And all the different birds and animals and stuff. It was a lot of fun. And, and just to give kind of some context, it's, we're not talking like little little uh, six by six panels. We're talking there. No, these no, are no. huge. Th these are huge panels, six feet by four feet. And it was about 46 feet long in total. So wow. it was quite the undertaking. We've got everything from a uh, woodpecker to a moose. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And for most people, you know, if you're in a dialysis center, you're just sitting there for a long period of time indoors. Indoors. You know, going through some process that they do four every... Four hours, uh, four yeah. times a week. Four, yeah. They never... That's their life. Yeah. So the mural is... They've got a lot, a lot of time to look at that mural and, and, and sort of having it so big, I guess, with lots of different animals in it is sort of like bringing yeah. the outdoors in. So that's they pretty amazing. They can visualize themselves out there where they want to be. Yeah, well, I, I commend you for that and to the other 34 artists. I mean, that's, that's amazing that you, the amount of hours that was put into that just for the community, and I think the community appreciates that, and, and some of the stuff you guys are, and are doing out there is pretty amazing. So let's talk a little bit about the, being an artist in today's world. What are, you, what, are you, um, what are your thought process around that? Because it, it's changing, of course. And, uh, and what, are, what are challenges and things have you managed to find along the way? Um, I stick to my principles. I, I like realism to partial realism, and I don't try to sway out of that. And it gets so easy to go into other fields, but I don't want to. I want to perfect the field that I'm in. 
and you know I stick to that and and I know that I'll get even do even better and better each year as it goes by and, and then also I guess in the Tri-Cities and we talked about a couple of those groups like there's, a, there's actually quite a few visual artists whether they're dabbling or they're partaking workshops like it's it's not a small community it's it's quite no, it's quite no. big it gets bigger all the time yeah and and then the, for me though what what do you what why are you so uh, enamored with with birds and, and and flowers oh i love to see them fly i love seeing pictures of them with the way their wings are tipped and stuff it, it's kind of neat they have their own sort of uh, mannerism their own personalities yeah, it's probably hard to capture, I guess. It's one Very of those hard. things. But once you get the photograph, then you've, you've got it good. So, so you work from a photograph, then? That's pretty well your Usually your I do. Yeah, I guess it gives you the sense of, uh, I guess, you're trying to emulate that photograph or just trying to change it I get it my own opinion of it, and I do that. Yeah. Well, I, I thank you very much for coming in. I know I know it's it's great to see you at the local, uh, when they, uh, our focus has a display. Uh, it's great to hear that you got stuff you know, around town and people are having a chance to see your work. Uh, appreciate all the work you guys, especially yourself, do it, has done with the dialysis project. And I know there's more projects coming. So, uh, so thanks for coming in for sure. I appreciate that. Thank you. So if you're interested in uh, art or visual art, um, Nikki Baines, of course, is a, a, an artist in our region that uh, is prolific in, in the work that she does. But she did start out in sort of taking workshops and and people like her are available for people to sort of just rub elbows with and sort of understand more about this artwork. Uh, at the same time, you can support local artists by, by you know, even just seeing their art, buying their art, following them, liking them on Facebook. It, it, uh, it, you can buy it, but you can also just like it as well. This is, again, Patrick McCarthy reporting with Tri-Cities Community Television. Thank you very much for watching. And thanks for coming in. That was quick and easy. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. <laughs>